is what happens in the recording studio. Inspiration, everything just happens like that. Hola, hola, I'm Josue, the creative director of La Epoca, and I want to welcome you to this special episode of Universal Salsa. I'm so excited about this particular episode because we're going to be talking about something that is so popular today in age, it's bachata. What is so special about bachata? When you dance bachata, what are you listening to? What particular instrument are you responding to? Are you responding to the guitars? Are you responding to the vocalist? Are you responding to the piano if there is a piano? Are you responding to the, to the bongo? What is your favorite part of bachata? So what I wanted to do was immerse myself in the composition of the music. So I said, okay, it's got to be commercial, it's got to be danceable, it's got to be melodic, and it's got to mean something to me as an artist. So can you imagine my excitement and my happiness when I got to go to Santo Domingo and record with the maestro bachatero, Joan Soriano, and his amazing musicians? My goodness, the excitement that I felt, the energy that I felt from them. <laughs> Eso es lo que pasa cuando estamos en el estudio, cosas pasan y no podemos controlar nada más que la inspiración que viene. So the first song that I started writing is called Dime, Dime. And it's so exciting that people are responding to it. I get many questions about who did I write it for, why did I write it. The inspiration simply came from a relationship that I used to have when I was in Romania. I was a wonderful lady and I just wanted to pull from those emotions. I am on Facebook Live. It's happening now in Santo Domingo here in Republi Republica Dominicana con Joan Sodiano. Aquí grabando mi primera bachata. Woo! Ah. Estoy aprendiendo mucho aquí. Mira, mira, bachata, bachata. Mira. A mi composición estoy feliz viendo a Joan Soriano bailando a mi bachata. Woo! It's amazing that I would like to share with you the inspiration that as the composer of this music and the professional dancers that when I'm teaching this to my music, you can understand the emotions that I put into it at the moment. Ah. All for the love. All for the love. The next bachata that I wrote is called Baila Conmigo. I only wrote it for one purpose, to be commercial. I just wanted to see if dancers would be able to relate to it. I wanted to see how dancers would be able to, to express that song. It's the only reason why I wrote that song.
bachata that I wrote is called Super Modelo. It's a very gentle bachata bolero. It does come from a collection of experiences, and I did have someone in mind. And what I wanted to do was put myself next to her. And I said, how do I feel when I'm next to her? My goodness. And that's why I wrote Super Modelo. Es lo que pienso cuando tú estás cerca de mí. Supermodel. It's exactly what I think when you're near me. She's so beautiful. She's so elegant. The way she walks, the way she talks, it's like, my goodness. Super es lo que pienso cuando tú estás cerca de mí. Super Now, I want to also share with you how exciting and special it was that my beautiful parents, my mother and my father, were able to, to go with me because my father has a long history with Afro-Cuban music and it was so important to me to get that influence in so that every time Yoan was, was going into a direction that says strictly bachata and 100% in the Dominicana and I wanted that, but I wanted to say, wait, let me challenge you a little bit to do something outside of your comfort zone, to do something that's more Afro-Cuban and he was completely open to it and you can hear that in the music. For example, the breaks that you hear in the music, those are not typical for bachata. Those are Afro-Cuban breaks because I wanted to keep that. De nuevo, de nuevo, porque no lo, lo, no lo puse en cámara. No lo <laughs> Another example is, it's not very often that you hear piano in bachata, but I wanted to put that in. So it was so exciting for me that I'm able to work with these amazing, these talented musicians and that I'm challenging them. Sí, con in inspiración. fabricando aquí un baby le vamos a hacer un pedacito de son entonces le estamos haciendo eh, una operación para que suene baby real no, ¿sabes cómo es? para el son montuno Tiene todavía muy, muy... nos vamos a quitarle un poquito de no, no, eh, está que está muy Antes venía uno bajo Gibson que tú le, le subí una palanquita pa, y tenía una felpa. Para eso mismo. Y algunas veces puedes hacer. Eso. Algunas veces podemos meter eso. Eso, eso. Al principio debe ser sí. así y entonces sí. Viene. And what I wanted to do was fuse bachata, the Dominican, the real Dominican roots of bachata, with Afro-Cuban elements, the congas make it a little bit more bolero, put a song montuno in one of the compositions. Esto, this is a song montuno. Él digo que yo soy el primero, eh, que, que yo sepa, 
que he puesto un son montuno al fin de una bachata. Eso es importante. Eso es importante. The first one. I'm the first one to put a son montuno at the end of a bachata. It has never, never been done before. And it's wonderful to see these musicians challenged by it. ¿Cómo te sientes, Juan? I am, I am not speaking English. I, I am speaking English a little bit. <laughs> Español, please. Español. <laughs> sí, sí. Está muy buena la bachata. Y espero la, el apoyo de, de mi gran amigo Josué. Sí, igual. Es, esperamos eso. Y yo sé cómo hacerlo. Él, él sí sabe, un maestro, un maestro aquí. They're listening to the music, they're playing the music, and it's like, well, wait a minute, that's not normally what bachata does, but it sounds fantastic, so let's put it in. Este wow. muchacho aquí está, eso suena bien, wow, sí. Yo recuerdo cuando tú te burlabas de mí, cuando yo hacía... Esas notas que él está haciendo en terceras. Oh, sí. Tú te burlabas de mí. Todavía burlo de ti. Pero eso es sabroso. Eso. A mí me gustan esos bordones arriba. We collaborate. We create. We're artists. We express. So the next time you go dancing, Remember the musician experience. The next time you go dancing, imagine the musicians in the recording studio and what they wanted to express. Because we're not just writing music just to be listened to. We're writing music that people can feel. Feeling is different from just listening. And important is included in that feeling is being able to express it. Express what we feel, express what we hear from the music. So the next time you go dancing, imagine what the musician wants to get from you, what the musician put into the music, what he or she was feeling at that moment, and try to, to get that, try to feel it and express it. That's a true connection with the music. If you don't, it's okay. Have fun, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Aquí en Dominicana se baila así. Mira la ella, no a mí. Ay, papá. Mira bien, aprende. Dime qué hago yo para olvidarte, mi nena. Dime, dime, dime qué puedo hacer para ganar tu peto. Dime, dime, este silencio es un castigo muy duro. I hope so much that you have enjoyed this special episode of Universal Salsa. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and go to universalsalsa.xyz because we cover everything from the ABCs to the XYZs of anything related to Afro-Cuban music, bachata, kizomba. It's a wonderful world. And visit laepocafilm.com where you're going to find a lot of movies and videos and educational material just for you. Besos. <laughs>